I'm Todd Cole with US Golf TV and we're here today at the Antigua booth and Ron we're talking about men's golf attire and this is one of my favorite interviews to do every year. I know the guys in our team love this because because they love your guys' stuff. Not only the shirts, but the outerwear and things like that. So, but before we dive into some of the, the design features for this shirt, I want you to give my uh, viewers a little bit of education on the, the material, because I've seen a huge change in the material of the shirts and stuff. Tell us a little bit about what's happening there. Sure, you know, the evolution in golf over the last 15 years now, has been a transition from heavily dependent upon cotton to much more dependent on synthetic, either polyester or polyester blends, you know, polyester spandex, polyester nylon, that type of thing. And that was really an evolution that took place because of what was happening in, in other types of sports like cycling and anything where there was a lot of strenuous activity, they didn't wear, those riders on those bicycles didn't wear cotton because the cotton took the moisture and then actually made them heavier. The polyester and synthetic fabrics did what is called wicking. It moved the moisture to the out, out into the garment and it evaporated quickly. And then the next po uh, point of, of that would be how well it's easy to maintain, to wash and wear. And so performance in that aspect is very important. So the days of having to get up and iron, iron a shirt are, are long gone. You put it up on a hanger and, and in a few minutes you're able to put it on without hardly any touching. The other big thing that we've done this year is, as I mentioned earlier, about the tweaking of fabric. Uh, we've created a fabric called Perfected PK. And what this is, is the traditional PK feel, which has a little texture to it, but it's more um, a much more soft garment and much more stretch. And what this is is a PK, a, a polyester PK blended with spandex that gives it this kind of hand. The hand is the, the feel yeah. and then the stretch. And so um, early reports sell through been terrific. The golfer really appreciates the, the additional stretch. Yes. And of course the maintenance on the product is fantastic. Yeah. It's got a great feel to it. I mean, we were, we were uh, picking up a few of them earlier and, and kind of getting a sense of what each different material felt like, and it was, it was wonderful. We were also talking a little bit about, I mean, something as simple as a change in a collar can really change the look of a, you know, a shirt. Tell us about that. What, what, what do we got option-wise here? Sure. Well, again, you know, as things evolve, and again, as things go around in a circle in the apparel business, um, things that were considered uh, old a few years ago are new again. So this particular collar, which is called the Sonon Knit Collar, it's not the same fabric as the shirt. It's a different fabric and it's sewn on to the shirt to create the collar. As I say, it dominated for the longest time. Now we're seeing what is called a self-collar. A self-collar is a collar that is made from the fabric of the garment. And it's not the rounded shape of the knit collar. It has more of a cleaner cut look almost reminiscent of the days of 25, 30 years ago, of the hard collars, they called them at the time. This is certainly not a hard collar. You're not going to have the maintenance issues that hard collars had. Well, I tell you what, if, if you're playing any golf, uh, you've heard of the Antigua name, the brand. They've been around, like you said, for well over 30 years. And so I have many of these already in my closet. And I can personally speak that they're great uh, quality. Ron, thank you for your time, and the line looks great. Good luck with the no, season. It's good to see you. Thanks.